The full anatomy of the clitoris wasn't discovered until 2005. Not surprisingly, the most extensive studies conducted to this day still at best conclude, and I quote, squirting is essentially the involuntary emission of urine during sexual activity. Anyway, here's what we know so far. Squirting can occur in large quantities and is usually odorless and colorless. This fluid can contain concentrations of urea, creatine, uric acid, and PSA, prostate-specific antigen. Now, it is suspected that the kidneys start pulling water into the bladder from the body during arousal. And that may be why the bladder fills up so quickly during arousal for some of these women, even when they completely empty their bladders before the experience. Now, let's talk about female ejaculation. This is not the big gushy, dramatic gush that we often see in porn. We're talking like a teaspoon's worth of fluid, and it's white, creamy, viscous, and sweet. Anatomical studies have found that the ejaculate originates in the skein's gland, otherwise known as the female prostate, and we still kind of cringe at that, the fact that we call it a female prostate. This fluid contains more of that PSA and prostatic acid phosphatase, which make it biochemically comparable to components in male semen. Now, both squirting and the female ejaculation phenomena happen through the urethra. Some bodies prefer to squirt, some bodies prefer to ejaculate, some bodies do both at different times, some bodies do both at the same time. Ultimately, there is still so much we don't know about the mysterious female body. It's a little bit embarrassing, y'all. It's, I'm not gonna lie. And while we wait for the science to catch up, let's go ahead and keep enjoying these incredible phenomena happening in our bodies without shame and without judgment. Let it flow.